Hey, what's up, my YouTube fam? I'm back. Hey, this is Larry with Invest and Build Your Credit and Wealth. And it's been a long time since I've done a video. And it's been a lot of things that have been happening uh, with me and the fam uh, since the last video. So really just wanted to get back, kind of tell you what's coming up with the channel. Uh, re- uh, connect to all my viewers out there to let them know I am still here and I'm still here to help you improve your credit, make good financial decisions, all of those type of things. So <clears throat> I just want to kind of keep it real with you, kind of reintroduce myself, get back on the platform that I have been building, uh, being an honest uh, credit repair person to really tell people the honest ways um, and the honest information on how to improve your credit, you know, you know, get rid of all the people that's trying to give you all these gimmicks and all these little shortcuts that you get frustrated because they don't work for you. You are spending money month after month for credit repair and not seeing the results that you want to see, you know, all those type of things. I'm here to bring you the truth about it. Uh, tell you my story. Uh, because the way I did it <clears throat> has totally changed my life financially in every other area. So what's been going on with Larry since uh, his last video? So really, uh, I moved from California to Texas. Uh, a lot of that was because, you know, I'm all about, you know, what is the best financial decision to make? So, you know, for a lot of y'all, uh, uh, you know, repaired, you know, me and my wife, we, you know, kind of going back a little bit, repaired our credit, fixed our credit, started making great decisions. We had a house uh, that we had built, uh, you know, uh, got a great deal on the house. When we, when the house that we had built, we added a pool, we had a pool built in the back. We did all the landscaping in the backyard. Uh, we just did a lot of things. Right. So credit repair business is going pretty good. And then all of a sudden this housing market is just banging. And I was living in California. So the amount of money that these houses were going up and people that were purchasing homes was ridiculous. So actually I was out going to my son's graduation. Uh, actually, he graduated Old Miss University, uh, went out there. Uh, and because he graduated the year COVID was really strong, he actually didn't have a graduation ceremony. So he actually graduated a year prior. So we went out there, they had the graduation. Actually, uh, another thing, always teach your kids. So 24 years old, he graduated from Old Miss. He had a house built, moved into a house, 24 years old, uh, working from home, got a degree in computer science, right? So doing great things proud of the young man he listens he's just one of those kids that's listening we'll talk about that There's three types of kids uh he was the one that listened and uh he followed right and uh he had good mentorship you know and we we you know his mom uh who did an excellent job uh, uh we always wanted to make sure he was well educated and actually traveled a lot to really grow mentally like get our kids out of this one area and send them around the world, send them to different places so he can grow. But anyway, went to his graduation. We're at the airport. One of my neighbors called me and was just saying like, hey, uh, you know, uh, one of our uh, neighbors just sold his house and uh, he made like 50,000 over asking. Uh, I was like, for real? And my house bigger pool in the backyard he didn't have a pool all that so uh he was like yeah and, i mean he literally got his first the day his house went on the market uh he got an offer sold his house three days later <clears throat> and, and and the housing market was so crazy that actually the people that bought his house allowed him to stay in his house for six months while he had his house built in texas so I was like, hmm, let's see what our house go. I talked to the wife. He said, you ready to move back home? Because we're originally from Texas. All our family's here. Boom, boom. She said, yeah, let's let's make that move. So got back from the graduation, talked to a realtor. And uh, 
<clears throat> and, uh, you know, we sat down with her and just say, hey, listen, we're looking to move back home. Boom, 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 boom. So she sat down and then we actually got together and uh, she said, listen, uh, uh, we're going to put your house up on the market uh, for about seven fifty. And she was asking, well, how much do you think we want to make? I said, I think, you know, I want to make somewhere over, you know, 800000 for my house. <clears throat> She's like, you know, the housing market, we can kind of see it. I hate, I don't like to uh, give people numbers. My, you know, people I'm selling house for too, too high of a number. and We don't reach that number, but let's just see how it go. The market has just been crazy in the area I'm living. So I live outside uh the bay area which is probably about 50 45 miles from oakland a lot of people from the bay area because it is so expensive there i mean man they could be houses ain't worth they are asking a million nine hundred thousand a million dollars for so a lot of people in the bay area are moving out to the area i'm in which was tracy california my house was in lathrop uh, stockton modesto manteca all that area out there so <clears throat> So got out there and uh, we decided to put the house on the market. Our house went on the market on a Thursday. We got an offer that Thursday and Sunday that house was sold. Uh, so we, uh, that house, we purchased that house for a little over 500,000. And that's kind of what we owed on it from the 20 months we stayed in that house. We only stayed in that house for 20 months and then turned around and sold that house. And let's keep it real for about 800,000. So it was a financial decision that because of the market, we needed to make that move. It was just, it was a no brainer, right? From Texas, move back to Texas. Let's make a great financial decision. So we moved back to Texas. And we want, also wanted to move back to Texas just because it's close to family. I wanted to be close to my mom. Uh, you know, my mom is 90, in her 90s, so she, uh, you know, I just want to be close to her and spend time with family and spend time with her. You know, being out in California, she's not going to get on no plane. So all of those decisions, you know, it's how. So just moving back to Texas, re-establishing, you know, looking for a job, which found in no time, just moving, getting things all together, what is gonna be our next move? When do we wanna get into another house? We decided we don't wanna get into another house now because the market is just crazy. Let's just wait till the housing market settle down. You know, just like in 2008, a lot of houses was overbuilt. Next thing you know, there was too many houses in the market, now houses are cheaper. You know, the housing market compared to California and Texas is not as cheap. I mean, it's cheaper because, you know, just the, the value of homes are cheaper. You get more for your house. So, you know, the great thing, we decided to move back and just, uh, just made a lot of financial good decisions, right? We're also moving wifey. You know, my wife is a nurse, her sister's a nurse, her niece is a nurse. So, you know, there's other financial things. We want to go into the home health care. So that's another thing that we've been, you know, oh, we finally got our license and been licensed in the state of Texas and we're moving on to that. So what I'm just trying to tell you is all that, all that was the roots of us reestablishing and understanding and building our credit. And that's what I'm trying to get that message out to everyone. You know, the, the, the things I've run to, and it's just keeping it real, you know, the things I run to with clients or people that one established some people want to win be a win-win on credit everything they've done no matter if they know they was they defaulted on a debt all this they just want to find a way to erase it without paying anything and that's just being we're not legitimately uh being honest with ourselves sometimes you're gonna take a nail sometimes you're gonna have to settle a debt the, the, the strategy is how do I do these things and remove it from my credit report, right? Or how do I do it, get it off, or settle it and to improve what my credit profile looks like. 
You know, in our industry, everybody's going to tell you that every negative vitamin affects your score. I can tell you honestly that it's a lie. The older an, an item gets on your credit report, it no longer affects your credit score. But when somebody is a underwriter or a system flags certain things on your credit report, that may deny you, but it's not always your score. There's multiple things you need to, when a creditor is looking at your credit report, that's gonna determine interest rate approval, right? It is what it is. So, but we have to start by improving and removing the negative things. If there's negative, but you owe a debt, I don't care what nobody tells you, a debt owed on a credit report, a bad debt owed, and a bad debt not owed, do not carry the same weight. A creditor looks and see that you haven't uh, finished or corrected a bad debt, looks different than if they see yes, there may be multiple reasons why he went into this debt, but he took care of this debt. So because he took care of this debt, it shows that he took a responsibility to clear it up and not just not take a responsibility to clear it up. So sometimes we take a nil, but sometimes we just have to clear up everything on our credit report. Some things are just not going to get cleared up. They are reporting accurate on your credit report. No matter how many letters you send in, how much you do, that original creditor is going to say that is valid information, right? But you also have to understand, build your credit report. Put more and more positive things on your credit report. Remove the negative. If you can't remove it, settle the re the, the dad debt. Get it to be a zero. Well, creditors are starting being smart as they're starting to put that you owe, and then they put it as a past due balance, which definitely hurts your credit score. So, but so so when you go ahead and settle that, not only do you settle the debt you owe the balance, but that past due balance go away, right? Which is gonna help your credit score. You have people out there telling you that if you settle the debt, it's not gonna help your credit score at all. That's a lie, prove it over and over again. If they've settled that debt, be oh, my score went up. Yes, it goes up because no longer owe a past due balance and that debt is clear. You, so, ver, you know, depending on what uh, FICO scoring module you have or what FICO scoring module a creditor is using to approve you, you know, could be could determine on what type of improvement of your credit score it is. So, you know, I just wanted to let y'all know that, you know, your credit is your heartbeat. Improve on your credit. Look at your credit report. Settle the things that you can't get removed. Don't let them ride for seven years. The, Creditors are going to tag you for seven years. Invest your money. Open up a brokerage account. Start investing. Pay yourself first. That's the thing I'm doing. I the Last year, I started with $100, and in 10 months, I had $26,000 in my brokerage account. Then I went out, took some of that money, and bought me a Mercedes, and you know, did a bunch of stuff to it, still doing stuff to it because that's what I always wanted to do, but I am still investing and putting money. I pay myself first. I don't care if it's $25, invest that $25. If you don't have enough to buy a stock, keep putting it in your brokerage account. And when you have enough, buy that particular stock, right? I'll talk about that. I have a Facebook group called Invest, Invest to a Million Stock Group join it i talk about stocks all the time stocks that you may be looking to invest in when to invest in those stocks uh there's multiple things that i am doing to improve my financial situation every day that is what you should be doing every day improving your financial wealth if it's understand there are other uh, opportunities out there for you to grow your wealth use your credit to leverage you can leverage your credit, you know, to make better financial decisions. Buy a home. Don't let nobody tell you buying a home is not uh, it's 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 not a great investment. It's always been a great investment. It may not be a great investment in 2021, 
right? But if you bought a house in 2022, that may be a great investment. You live in that house, you purchased that house, you're paying down. What happens, you lived in that house for five years and then all of a sudden the housing market booms again and you can sell that house and make two or three hundred thousand dollars. But if you, you listen to people telling, oh, it's not a great decision, three years come around and you go back and say, I should have bought a home. I would be in a much better financial decision. So make great decisions today. Save your money, invest your money, listen to people that's telling you the truth, right? You know, I don't, even with my credit repair, I don't charge people monthly. I think it's a disservice, right? I, I'm always honest. I tell my clients, I'm not sure I could get that off, but if you want me to try, but I want to make it clear that I cannot, based on the information I'm looking at your credit report, that it's reporting, you have a, it's, it's a greater, it's a greater chance that it's going to stay on there. But this, let me tell you what's the best way to improve your credit score and, and take care of this that will improve your credit score that will move you forward. People sometimes rather wait seven years for something to fall off their credit or wait till they get a judgment on them or wait till somebody sends them a summons to come to court. All of that stuff. You gotta understand this industry and I preach it, collection accounts, how to deal with collection accounts. I'll talk about that, how to deal with original creditors how to try to use your uh, uh, use a 1099C, how to use an affidavit, how to build, how to correct your own credit report. You don't always need me. I sell a massive dispute package. All the information that I even use is in that package, right? You could do it yourself and I help people. They could send me, because everybody about a package has my phone number, my email address, and I can answer any questions that they want. Walk them through a process. Tell them what they need to do if they have any questions. All of those type of things. It's all about keeping it real with y'all, right? It's all about getting back to understanding what your credit report is all about and how to improve it long term. How to invest long term. Teach your kids. Show them how to start investing. Make them open up a brokerage account. They got a job at 16. Show them how to start investing and saving their money every month. They will live a much better life. Right? So all those type of things uh, that, uh, that's been going on with me and things that I'm just trying to preach to you. Right? And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to preach to you. So it's uh, moving to Texas was a great decision paid off a lot of debt, uh, debt free, uh, pretty much, uh, we're looking to build a house again, but we're going to wait till this housing market settle down a little bit because I don't want to overpay for a house in the month. This, the housing market comes back and now I owe more than the house is worth. So just making great decisions. If you have questions about credit, I get emails all the time. I reply to every email. Yeah. Email me. It's in my description. You know, if you email me, ask me a question, and that's when I give you my phone number. I just don't post my phone number on, uh, on uh, you know, my YouTube page uh, channel just because I want serious people. People that typically email me are really serious about it. I answer any questions, and I'll keep it real with you. So do all those things. Other things I'm bringing, I'm bringing new and better information about credit and what you need to do. I'm going to start Sunday. Every Sunday, I'm going to try to go on every noon, noon or one o'clock and try to stay on, do live questions and answers every Sunday. Right. I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to start posting the, uh, uh, you know, uh, my little, uh, thumbnail, uh, just to saying, uh, I'm coming on live Sunday. I'm going to do it again today. Uh, I'm going to post this video. Today is Saturday. Uh, uh, so I'm going to be posting uh, the video, posting my uh, thumbnail about live on Sunday just to answer questions. I'm going to start doing that every Sunday. I'm getting back on giving y'all this information. If you have questions, email me. You know, if you want to buy that dispute package, email me and then I will send that dispute package over to you. I charge $70 for that dispute package and it has all the Infometro too, letters, affidavits, restrictive endorsement letters, you know, it, 
tons of information, so much information. Even when I email, I have to zip that file because it's too big to just send regularly. It's a, it's a very, a very big file. But I'm here to come back, start going back over how to reaching down on every credit situation, how to build your credit, what are the best creditors to go with, what you should do, how you should leverage your credit, uh, any investment tips, all of those type of things are gonna be coming back to this channel. But I know I've been gone a while, I've been shooting videos. Uh, I'm back, I'm ready, I'm focused on really helping people uh, get back to improving their credit, investing their money, all of those type of things. This is a real rounded channel. I want to make it a real rounded channel. Uh, I'm also doing another channel just on my car channel. I'm trying to build a car channel just on my car, the build of my car, all that type of stuff. Uh, it'll be in the descriptions if you want to come out there and see on the other side what we're trying to do. Uh, but it's all about uh, uh, I'm closer. I'm closer definitely to Equifax. So like I said, if I got to walk over to Equifax and turn in your dispute, shoot, jump in, walk over there or jump in the car, ride over there and drop those dispute letters off. So uh, it's all about uh, helping you and all about being honest with you about credit repair. I'm not going to never just feed you something because I want your business and none of that because it's not worth it to me. I've been gifted with a lot of information because of all the little research and all the different strategies I've tried. Uh, so it's, it's, it's up to me to give that information back to you. But I just want to do that. Subscribe, you know, subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up. You know, a lot of times I give a lot of good information and people don't even hit thumbs up, right? Hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, understand that I am here to help you. I am not here to hurt you. I am here to help you give you honest information, right? So please, please hit the thumbs up. Let's grow this channel. Let's get this information out more. Uh, if you have any questions or if it's something you want me to do a video on, you want me to do a video. Larry, can you do a video on this? I've been having this problem. Can you do a video on this? Let me know. Send me a message. I will do a video. I will put a video together and do it. I am here to help you. I am here to get you the information that you're asking for. So come on, ask those questions. Don't be shy. Don't be scared. Don't think I'm, you know, everything about I get free credit analysis. I don't charge you for credit analysis. If you want me to look at your credit report and give you an honest on what you need to do, or what's going on, I have no problem doing that. I want to help you. All I ask you to do is subscribe and hit the thumbs up. That's it. All that is free, right? Subscribe, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications. So when you do a new video, but I will be pushing out more videos, but I've made a lot of great decisions and these decisions started in 2017. So in four years, man, my life has totally changed. My financial situation has totally changed. Everything has totally changed. And it's the root of when I started addressing my credit and once i started learning credit and money then that started me to open a business then when i started opening a business it started me understanding taxes and how to benefit from owning a business with my taxes how to start getting business credit how to start using my business credit for a lot of different things and stay away from my personal credit right not being scared of credit cards just know how to use them. Understand that that is available money to me. That means if I need that, for example, I run into a stock that is at its all time low, right? It's on a 200 day moving average, meaning 200 days ago, the price is, is, is the same price today is the same price it was 200 days ago. And I see a buying opportunity for a great company. And I'm like, you know what? I don't, I, I, let me just take $500 off this credit card, invest this money, pay this credit card off before the statement date, right? Leverage that money, pay that off, go ahead and buy those stocks and then pay that money back, right? Now I'd invest it back to myself. 
I've leveraged my credit. I've invested in some uh, in a credit uh, in a stock, excuse me, that uh, the stock price had hit uh, where the stock price is today is the same stock price it was 200 days ago. So when that, with good companies, AMD, NVIDIA, uh, Microsoft, you know, some great companies, Caterpillar, uh, some great stock companies, blue chip companies. And then I know those companies are not going down. They ran great, great CEOs, they're going up for me to make money. So I leverage my credit to make that stock purchase to leverage. And then I turn around and I say, you know what? I'll just pay that money back before the statement date. So I don't know any interest on it. But it's all about understanding, leveraging your credit. It's all about being able to have that access to money to build your wealth, right? No, you don't want to take money off your credit card and then let the interest rate pile up because now you defeat the purpose of it. It's all about being smart and leveraging your credit in certain ways building your wealth, understanding. And that's those are the things I've learned, things I've learned in the last four years, opening a business. That's why my wife just grand opened up a home health care business. That's something great. Uh, so it's all about understanding. It's understanding what you can do and how you can change your financial future. But you got to start with your credit. You have to start with your credit. And that's the whole point. So if you have any questions, again, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. If you have any, any, any questions, or if you want me to shoot a video on anything, reach out to me. We need to get, I'm going to get, I'm definitely getting this channels back going. But tomorrow, again, I'm going to have live Q&A just to answer questions. And I'm going to start trying to put out at least a couple of videos. I do have a full-time job because I have a purpose I have a purpose when I want to retire and where I want to be and I want to pound all my investments and all that because I started late in the game right? because I wasn't smart and I wasn't listening to people and I wasn't being educated about financial literacy. So but now I am. So now it's time for me to pound, pound, pound. And I'm all going to always dig deep for you for the information that you need. So. This is Larry with Invest and Build Your Credit and World Wealth. I'm back. I am back. I am back. And I'm ready to help you to improve your credit. So if you have any questions, hit me up. Leave a comment. Hit the thumbs up. Hit the bell for notifications. Subscribe to the channel. And let's get back at it. And let's start improving this credit. And I'm with you.